All right, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how I work with samples. This works on standalone or tethered. Um, first, I'm going to go to an audio track, session mode, clip mode, and I'm going to swap, go to my samples folder in my user library. That's where I import all my samples onto push. Pick a sample that doesn't have warp markers yet. And um, the first thing I want to do is press the edit button, warp to grid. That's going to lock it in time with the metronome. And I exit that. Now I'll press this button here to start it. Now first I'll get a loop. I'll start finding the loops I like in it. So maybe I'll... If I like a loop, I just press duplicate. Now that leaves that old loop behind. I can search for new loops I want to get to. Try that one. Now I could just play around with finding different loops and keep looping them if I want, add filters and things like that, but I'm going to show how some of the slicing works. Press convert. I can make it a drum pad if I want. I can do some other things with it, but I want it to be a simpler. Now I'm going to go back to note mode. Now I can do regular sample stuff like. Let's do one thing here though, let's make sure that it's in Complex Pro. That's good for when you're changing the pitch of it. So. Another cool thing with push though is you can also change the pitch while you're playing. So. A lot of fun with that. But uh, now let's go over to the other different slicing modes. So I'm going to go to slicing. Now here, here I can just chop it up into all the transient slices. Um, this is fine, but I prefer to do it by beats pretty often. And quarter or eighth note. And now this will play each sample. But I really like to use the through mode, which means it'll keep playing along the samples as it goes. So... I can also do that pitch bending stuff in drum racks too. Um, another thing I can do is take it to um, the uh, let's see, manual chopping. This is cool because I can chop it as it plays. So I can go. And I can, of course, go in and change those start markers for each of these slices fine-tune it, zoom in, and get exactly where I want on the transient. That's it. You can do a lot with that.